Here's my next little project with my MTH radio control. And that's running two trains on the track at the same time, round and round, without any manual intervention or control. Back in the 1950s, you used to be able to do that with just a piece of insulated track and a couple jumper wires. Uh, with the MTH trains, there's really no way to do that with them out of the box. So I took my work in the MTH control by radio and added a few extra commands, made the program a little more complicated, and I produced a little controller using an Arduino a CC1101 radio and something new for me, a infrared detector to detect the trains coming by. So what we want to do is we want to be able to just let the one train stop on the track and let the other one come around the track. When the other one comes around the track, runs into the infrared detector, the program detects its presence and starts the other train, stops the first one, and so on and so on and so on. So we're going to see if we can make this work for you. Uh, since my layout is has a fairly big loop on it, I'm going to be ha having to have to pause the recording every once in a while uh, just to let the trains come around. So I'll try to warn you when, when I'm about to do that. So I have on the tracks, I have two engines. I have a Pittsburgh and Lake Erie 1556 and over here the PNLE 1561. So the program is loaded into my Arduino and my radio, and uh, hopefully this is going to work. So I'm going to just press the little button I have here, which starts it all off. So this is all running under control of the Arduino. The first thing the, the program in the Arduino does is it starts up both trains and the first order of business is going to be able is to detect uh, which train is which so that when the Arduino wants to stop one of the trains it knows which one to send the commands to. So the trains will be coming around the track. I'm going to pause this for a second and wait for the train to come around. All right, so here we go. So the first train now is, is coming up in front of the detector. So the Arduino now knows that it has the location of one of the trains. So I'm just going to wait for the second one to come around. And again, I'm going to pause the record for a minute. All right, now the second train is coming up to the detector. Once the program has detected both trains, then it will do a little dance to figure out which train is which. So now it's detected both trains, it stops them both, and it's going to make one of them back up. And you can see it's making the one on the far end of the layout back up. And if it just so happened that that train was in front of the detector, the program would notice that that train backed up behind the detector. Once that happens, the program knows for certain which train number is which train. In my case, it's uh, I have these two set at train 8 and train 9. So now it knows which train is which. So now what it'll do is it'll take the first train, run it up the layout a little bit. Stop it. Start up the other train.
Now, to give it some clearance away from the detector, it takes the, the first train, moves it up the layout just a little bit further, and we'll stop it. So at this point, everything is poised now for these two trains to alternately run over and over. The first train is, is stopped, waiting for the second train to pass in front of the detector. And it's just coming out of the tunnel right now. There it is. So what we'll do is I'll put the video on pause again for a second and come back when the train is about ready to hit the detector again. So at this point, the train is about ready to hit my detector. Which it just did. Now the program will just start up the first train, let it take off down the track again. Start up the second train, pull it up ahead a little bit to get out of the way of the detector where this train will then wait for the first one to come around again. So now that the program knows which train is which, it can control the two of them, and this roundabout action will go on forever. Give you some idea of what the program looks like as it's running I have the program right now outputting a lot of debug information. And you can see here on the uh, Arduino IDE serial monitor, it shows the commands being sent to the engines, and it shows the results of the uh, detection circuitry. So here you can see scroll scrolling up the bottom are the messages from the detector saying there's no train detected, and it'll just sit there and keep looking until the, the next train comes around the layout again. So there we are, my two trains on one track under automatic control.